three, two, one. Hello, guys, and welcome to a new episode of a new series, which is Kingcraft. It's on a server with, 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 with this guy. Hello. What's Say hello? Hello, howdy. So, for the first episode, he is going to be giving me the grand tour of the server. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's begin. So, to get down, you want to come through one of the little temple thingy majiggers and down the stairs and into the temple. And this is the uh, kind of town hall, if you will, the main center point of the town. Where at, This will be where we hold our meetings for the server and all that good jazz. So, and if we go over here, this is what I like to call kind of the farming district. Um, it's not really farming. We were going to put like all the farms over here, but then we kind of went off track from that. So, this is the farms. Uh, it was originally built by Dat Dan Dude, but kind of improved and spiffied up by me. Um, and yet, Melon's my horse. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> Diamond then, armor. Yes. Uh, then you have your sheep, and then Dat Dan Dude has four horses. He's kind of addicted to horses. That and flowers. Four horses. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then over here we have villagers. We have three right now. Um, if I place them right there. Yeah. Uh, I know you need one more door to, for them to breed. You need like nine, I think. But wow. I'll build a compact breeder soon. I am just haven't had time. So, if I jump down here. Yeah. Um, you have over here Tech at Wolf MC. He's only been on the server for a little bit. Um, like only a little while total. Uh, so... He's not got much done, but he's uh, doing good so far. Uh, so if we close his doors. Uh, then over here you have the lovely farms built by that Dan Dude, spiffied up by me. <laughs> um, I had, All I added was the stone brick and green. Uh, uh. Besides that, it's pretty. He built a really nice one. Yeah. Um, and then you have your basic farms with wheat and potatoes and carrots and melons. Oh my god. Uh, and then you have your uh, basic pumpkin farm. So, if I need to eat some of these. Um, but, yeah. If you guys heard that, I'm so sorry. A phone went off. Always happens when I record. Yeah, I know. Me too. Except usually it's my birds. Uh, they always chirp when I'm recording and it's annoying. Yeah, either that or a dog will bark and it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Really? <laughs> Um, alright, so the next stop is TGP, uh, The Gaming Planet is his full channel name, uh, his house. He's gonna build, like, a giant T and a G and a P, obviously. Mm. Uh, and this is the starting point of the T. Cool. He's only, he's only played for a little bit. He's so-so on and off. If he does play, he's usually in the nether gathering quartz. He's, just, like, addicted to quartz. Yeah, quartz, quartz is, like, one of the best materials for, like buildings and stuff, because, like, you can make old, like, Roman buildings and stuff like that in the White House, that yeah. kind of stuff, but it's, like, the hardest material to find. Yeah. If you Maybe get not a fortune, the then you get yeah. uh, a lot. Like Maybe not my the hardest, three. it's one of the most annoying things to try to find. Yeah. Because uh, usually you have, like, gas shooting at you. Yeah. And then our next stop is Grizzly Shadow HD, is his channel name. Yeah, this is his house. I call him Grizzly. Um, and this one, this house is probably one of my favorites because it is very unique. Um, he followed the exact structure of the top of the mountain. Uh, and yeah, I really like it. It'll be hard yeah, to this, decorate, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. I, I do like it. But you're right, like, how is, is it even possible to decorate this? I don't know. He'll probably have to add walls. Yeah, like, uh, different rooms. Yep. Uh, and then back there is a spider spawner. I'm not sure if we broke it yet, but it's kind of not really used. The ah. mob farm, which is still in, working in progress uh, by me, uh, is over there. The skeleton piping is kind of messed up right now, so it's skeleton and zombie. All right. And then you have the old house of uh, Chaos Gaming. It's just mm -hmm. his throw-up shack until he gets his... Uh, what you call it done? Twin Towers, which we'll see in the mm. future. Uh, but yeah, here's Dat Dan Dude's house. It's 
giant mansion. Uh, the amazing house. Yeah, he's probably got one of the coolest houses on the server. If not the coolest house. Yeah. It's either that. It's, it's either that or your modern house. Oh well, thank you. Your modern house is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, and then you got your basic couch to watch some TV. One second. Just, I'm going to pause for a second. All right, we're back. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Basically, this is his amazing modern house. Yet his chests are on the other side of the wall. Uh, if you saw me start in that little room. Yeah. And then, uh, you come up here. You got his bedroom. And his amazing bathroom. Yeah, hey, I really like this shower. Get out of here. Why. I'm taking a shower. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I got trapped in the door. There we go. I don't know why, but I really like this. It's like in the it's an attic shower. I don't know why, but I like that concept. Yeah. Uh, you should have saw this house when he built it in creative mode. He had like in stone walls and stuff, and it looked oh, wow. really nice in his texture pack. And he also had like a garage on that side. But when he did, oh, when he was is that why is that why he made the birch there? Cause it went with the end stone well. Yeah, uh, and he did build it, like, uh, a giant garage on the outside here. Ah, cool. Uh, but it was too big and kind of blocking, so he took it down. Uh, and he also had a cool car-looking thing. I saw his creative mode map. It was really nice. It doesn't look as good with the cobblestone birch, but it still looks pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, he is great at building giant houses. You should yeah. see some of the old stuff, like on Xbox Edition. It's crazy. All right, next stop is 3D. That Dan dude, uh, he built that house. Uh, this is his business. It's rent a rent a pick, I guess. I'm I'm gonna start calling that that until <laughs> he, yeah, until he decides the name. So basically, you rent uh, the pick's gone, but it's like an efficiency three unbreak or efficiency like four. My bad. Uh, yeah. Unbreaking three pick and it's seven iron for one wow. hour. And yeah. I I saw that it was, like, almost broken. Uh, yeah, but he also had, like, three of them. So, uh, people must have uh, either been renting them, or he must have been using them. I, I thought I saw a sign about if it breaks, you have to, like, pay price. Yeah, so. if you lost it, you had to pay, like, five diamonds. Oh, yeah. If it breaks while you use it, then you have to pay uh, a total of, I think it was, like, two diamonds or three diamonds. I don't know. If, you, if it breaks. If I ever rent it... It's almost really close to breaking. I'm gonna, cause since I have the durability on it, I'm gonna let it get to zero and then return it. <laughs> oh, well. And then this is the tree farm. I don't know why I went downstairs. This is, uh, downstairs will be the uh, spruce, or not spruce, but, yeah, spruce. Uh, it'll be spruce trees, main floors, oak trees. It was originally built by me, like halfway, and then Dat Dan dude <laughs> finished it. Ah. And then uh, birch trees are on top, but it's kind of just the same thing, so it's not 100% necessary to show. Oh, okay, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> oh, lagging up. Alright, so, uh, our next stop, we'll just cut across over here, it is the Twin Towers built by, um, it's not, they're not done yet, obviously. That's pretty stubby Twin Tower, if so. Uh, it's built by Chaos Gamers, he also had that throw-up shack, and he was on for a little bit. He changed this to a black stained glass, which r I think looks really nice. It looks oh, more yeah. skyscraper. Oh, yeah, that really does. And he's done some work, but... He has uh he has to he doesn't have a silk touch so he has to smelt so much stone. Oh wow. Yeah, I gave him a stack of stone since I have silk touch. So yeah, uh, and then now it is getting dark, which kind of stinks. I light this place up. Uh, our next stop on it is the community mine. Um, I don't know why this isn't lit up. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. You go down and mine. You can do whatever you want down there. Take mm -hmm. whatever people stuff. Uh, now, if they leave a chest and it's not yours, you can't really take out of it. Mm. But when you say community mine, does it literally mean like you can just kind of take stuff from it? Yeah, you can mine whatever you want. And mm. it's down to bedrock down there, and then you can do whatever you want. It actually runs into Big Meanie's mine, which mm. is uh, one of the houses. And oh, then, someone left Someone left this on. Oh, well. Um, then you have... Let me kill the zombie. Uh, this amazing redstone farm thingamajigger. I don't exactly... Why, thank you. It's uh, made by you. Me? Oh. <laughs> wow, sorry. Oh, I, I thought it was a zombie. <laughs> nah. Basically, what you do, I don't have bone meal, and uh, you can basically get the gist of it without me actually demonstrating it. What you do is you press this, and as you hear, the repeaters firing away, they dispense bone meal, 
and you just plant the crops while you go back and forth, and when you step on that, it harvests them, and you just keep doing that. And yeah, it works. It works pretty well, um, and it's extremely compact. Watch out, creeper. What? I thought they took two hits. Uh, it takes three. Uh, if you don't have oh, any wow. enchantment. Oh wow! For the whole time that I've been on, it's took two. Hits. Oh. And I uh, only have they on three. Uh, they like it used to only be two, but it was too easy to like just charge in and kill them. So Mojang nerfed it. Uh. I think they might have either. Increase oh God! Creeper's life then? God darn it! Oh, it's fine. They either increased the creeper's lifespan or lowered the uh, damage of a diamond sword. Oh my God! Uh, all right. So the next stop uh, is the temporary cow farm that I'm taking down because I just finished the other one. Hmm. Uh, if you notice, there's no cows in it. And then you have the bone meal or what do you want to call it? Cocoa bean farm. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of annoying with the mobs, but eh, we'll live. Um, and then you also have this chicken farm over here, the overflowing chicken farm. It's always full. I need to add a double chest system. And then yeah. I'm also going to build an auto chicken smelter where it'll automatically cook the chickens and stuff. So it'll be nice. And then you have Big Meanie's uh, deceiving house is what I wanted to call it. Because when you go down, it's a huge mine shaft. It's really yeah. nice. So if we go From down here, down, it's just like a little shack. Okay, well, Dan, Dan dude, left an awkward message. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that that's Dan dude's so weird. Ooh, another sign. Hi, Jack, or otherwise known as Big Meanie. Hope you don't mind, but I borrowed some more cobble. Let me know what you want in return. Love that, Dan dude. Okay. Whoa, there's a secret chest underneath this one. Oh, what's in it? Oh, glowstone stuff. Alright, so you have this awesome mine, which he's going to probably have some t sort of mine track system. He's, like, totally about digging. We're actually going to write a parody uh, for All I Do Is Win. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, is it going to be All I Do Is Mine or something? All I Do Is Dig. Ah, uh, close we're, enough. Uh, me, that Dan dude, and uh, Big Meanie, we're all just sitting uh, on Skype one day, and he just said that because he was just digging his mine. Uh, uh, and we started just wrapping it out, so, <laughs> it was funny, yeah. and we've kind of started, we just started kind of working on the lyrics, uh, it was about a month ago when we did that, and we kind of forgot about it, but we started working on the lyrics like three days ago. That band dude's mainly working on the lyrics, uh, I'll help out a little bit, Big Meanie's vocalist, I'm vocalist, and yeah, we'll get a couple other people soon. And then we have Your House, uh... So yeah, it's really nice. It's small, compact, well, except mm -hmm. for the downstairs. The downstairs I just saw soon, or a little bit ago. And it's, but it's super nice. It's probably the, one of the nicest houses I've seen. Why, uh, thank you. With the wood cobblestone texture design, that's really nice. Because uh, I love this, what you've done with the ceiling here. Thank you. Yeah, I like to, like, make it kind of realistic, add supports. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there you are. Uh, then you have the ender chest I made you. <laughs> but, uh, I destroyed the sign. I didn't know if you wanted me to keep that sign or something. Oh, no. I was just telling you, uh, just don't try to mine it. I'll, I have a silk touch that you can use if you want me to move it. No, that's a good place for it. Then you have your awesome, amazing jungle wood uh, with oak wood and stuff. Basement, Why, thank you. Which I really like. I love the jungle wood and oak planks. They look really good together, I think. Yeah, that was actually like an experiment. I was going to make it uh, jungle wood and jungle wood planks and jungle wood but mm -hmm. then I tried out the oak wood actually I tried out the oak wood by accident at first all right well and your chicken farm's gone oh no oh, that's oh yeah no 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 I just let them roam free because it was cruel the way I was trapping them oh I killed one huh I feel bad now I'm sorry no it's fine I have its egg then it shall live. All right, guys. So that's your house, and now it's on to four-legged TNT. I I just realized you um kind of went right past your base. Oh yeah, because I guess I did. Never mind. <laughs> well, it's four-legged TNT, and then my base in the marketplace is all kind of that way. So um, right now, four-legged TNT has been on a couple times, but he's mainly he just been mining. On, he was actually on today. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, did he do anything with his house? But Because he mines a lot, too. No, I didn't do it. Did he? Uh, yeah, did he. 
Uh, he was like flattening out some land over here. Oh, yeah. And he's uh, since he was so far away from the farm, he got tired and started building this farm over here. Ah. Uh, so I'll I use it sometimes. Uh, either that. There are or two I, zombies I'm... trapped in the cow farm. There is. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He'll leave them in there and see how long they are, and they'll yeah. stay. Oh, this this one, this one uh has a helmet, so he won't burn in day. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so now it's on to the marketplace and then my base. All right. So if you jump over here, jump sprint. I'm kind of avoiding all the mobs, letting you kill them. <laughs> uh, if you jump sprint over here to the marketplace, um, everyone on the server can have one. Uh, I'm only gonna build like maybe three, four more. Uh, Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, because you're allowed to have, like, two businesses on mm -hmm. the thing, and one of these if you want. Uh, and so far we have Big Meanie's Food Shop, which he hasn't set up yet. And I was actually talking him, to him today, and he might call it, uh, what was it? Like, PPG or something? Uh, PPO. Uh, and it stands for, like, Pigs Products or something. So it's, like, really weird. I don't know. So that's kind of random, but now it's on to my lovely modern house. I kind of like it. It, it is like really nice. Thank it, you. It, I like the quartz. I really, I really like the leaves oh, thanks. on the top. I, I don't they, know they don't why, look but the best uh, in default texture, like what I'm using, uh, mm -hmm. they look a really nice in. Uh, Flow's HD texture pack. That one's my probably my favorite creative texture. I don't pack. know why, but like all modern houses look better with like leaves or shrubs. Uh, you can thank that to Corralis. <laughs> uh, no, actually, like almost every YouTuber does it. Like a lot of people do it. Yeah, I was just saying. Mumbo Jumbo does it. Um, and then you have my merry Halloween tree. I get bored one day and needed another wart farm, so I made a Halloween tree. So you made it into a Halloween tree. Yeah, even though this is like two weeks after Halloween. So. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, and then you come into my house, you have a kind of a smelting wall. I still need to do some interior decoration by far. And then you have my temporary te uh, blah, chest system. Oh my into god, That's, this is a lot. Yeah, and chests. they're all full. Seriously? Way. Yeah, and then the two oh out. Oh my god. I, you should see my base. My base is like the floor is made of chests. And then also, my uh, I have two chests out in the marketplace. Nice. This floor, I, I really like it. Thank you. This map the took me forever to get. It, I had to explore a lot. Uh, and then the chandeliers. Oh, thanks. I, I like I the idea with art to do. Arms. Oh, yeah, I like a chain. Mm hmm. I would have done it with uh, beacons, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to kill like 10, uh, what do you call it? Oh, are those yeah. Uh, yeah. With withered. Yeah, I would have had like three here and three here, so six total, but still. That would have been crazy. Yeah. I'd have to have like full out awesome armor just to kill like, well, one, you have to kind of have full out awesome armor, but still. <laughs> All right, so I think that's about it besides the new cow farm, if you've seen it, have you? I have not. Is oh, this uh, it? Over uh, here? Yeah. Basically, the cows are on oh. the top. Uh, you need wheat to breed them. You come up here, up the ladder. Oh, and knocked you off. In your face. No, you didn't. You didn't uh, knock you off. You push this button, they start swimming up. Oh, I've you, seen this kind of thing. Yeah, it was built by, or designed by Exuma. I just built it. Uh, and then you come here, I'm gonna, you hold your wheat here and I'll breed them all. And then you come down here, wait for them to go up. Uh, this is an old message. Right now it's set up where they won't fall. And then you throw a splash potion of harming. Blah. A splash potion of harming. I hate braces. Uh, standing on this torch or you get damage. And uh, it'll uh, kill them. Or you, first you want to crush them. My bad. Uh, throw the splash potion. And white's in air switch to like a looting three sword. Mm -hmm. Which you don't have to do this. Wow. But it really helps. And it'll put it all in its chest. Which is. Oh that's cool. Yeah. It's really nice. Do you have to do do you have to do the splash potion though? Yeah, you can't crush him. If you crush him twice, you wouldn't get any uh, XP. Ah, but couldn't you just hit him with a sword? Yeah, but uh, I'll have once eventually we'll get like a lot of pro potions, and we'll have a chest over here full of potions and stuff. Uh, so I'm the only one with the brewing stand right now, so it's kind of a fail. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even been into the Nether. Oh, you haven't? Oh wow. 
Um, well, I guess that concludes our tour. There's nothing really else to show. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome server. It's, it's cool you. to be a part in it. Yes, you're actually being a really big part. So. Thanks. All so, right. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you really enjoyed, hit a subscribe button to either of us because we'll both be uploading this probably. Yep. And goodbye. Okay. As you said, hug the like button and smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.